Hi there and welcome to a new Magic Review show. Uh, my name is Stephen Ablett and on this whole series I'm going to review lots of different tricks that you can buy from magic shops and usually you stuff them in the cupboard and never touch them again for your entire life. I'm here to try and help you not make that same mistake that I've done. A few things first is I'm not affiliated to any magic shop whatsoever, which means I can be critical and I can review products from World Magic Shop, Alakazam, Murphy's, I don't care. I'm going to review anything that gets sent to me or anything that I buy and I'll tell you if it's good or usually just plain awful because I don't have any benefits in making these videos, I don't make an adult sell anything, okay? Which is exactly what we're going to do for this very first trick for episode one. Magnetic Jumbo Coin by Anton Kuradin, okay? Now this is a, this is the a reason I'm starting off with this one is because I purchased this trick very recently and I made the mistake of buying it not knowing fully what it was. Because it sounds like a great coin that you could do mass productions with. First of all, it comes in a nice red box. I'm gonna make these snappy as well. I'm fed up for those review shows that take 20 minutes to get to somewhere. Um, it's awful, let's go again that. I'll go into more of that later. Comes with a DVD. Um, for those that know what they're doing with these, it's a nice purple disc. Mm. And it also comes with this big giant coin. Now the coin I've got here is a two euro coin. I'm gonna bring it to the camera so that you can get a nice clear view of what it looks like, which is um, something you'll see at the bottom of a toilet, I think. The quality of this design is atrocious. I could not produce this and people think that it looked like a real coin. It looks like it's made of chocolate. It is metal. To be fair, it has got a bit of substance over it. I'm not sure what it's made of, um, but it does have enough substance there to actually, you can bang it against something it'll clang. But the detail is just so poor, it's, if you were doing a stage show, I suppose it would be fine for a stage show, but I would never do this in close-up. Um, it just, it lacks that fine of detail. Now, my guess is, if I was to play around with this a bit more, I could get a gold highlighter, a gold pen, um, a gold permanent marker, and I could maybe go around everything and maybe enhance the design. So, I don't see any problem with that, which would enhance the visuality of the coin. But as it comes, it's just not workable. The second thing is the magnet. Now it's a magnetic coin. It says so as the title of the trick, okay? But the coin is not really magnetic. It is magnetic. Um, okay, I'll show you this. And I'm not trying to give away any secrets here or anything. It's called magnetic jumbo coin. I know it's a review show, but when you call it magnetic, that's kind of what it is. So let me show you with this. It will stick to a surface but only in one particular spot. The magnet is isolated to just one section. One, do you see those stars on the back of a coin? It's under one of those stars, okay? So you basically, you have to get used to the coin to work out how it sticks, where it sticks. It, because the coin is ultra light, it's not heavy whatsoever. It will hang from jackets and things like this. I don't think there's any metal on here. Yeah. No, it's not going to stick to any of this, <laughs> uh, but it, it will hang from certain points of your body. So, the, as I'm, I was expecting, first personally when I purchased it, I was expecting the whole back to be a magnetic kind of plate, because you can get magnetic paper nowadays, and I thought, well, it'll just be the back of it. It's not, it's one point. So depending on, that's fine, it does its job, it does what it say it is, but if you've got other plans for it, bear that in mind. But the main problem is the design. Um, it really is not what I expected it to be. Uh, they, do, they do do them with half dollars as well. And I've not got the half dollar, but I have researched this online and apparently the half dollar has the exact same problem. So bear it, bear it in mind. My original thoughts were to actually use this as a, a makeshift two pound coin in the UK because we don't, you, nobody uses euros anymore. And so two pound coins would imitate this look. Again, we'll have to play around with it. So as a product, I'm gonna give it, oh, let's give it a percentage, we'll go at 100, plus episode one, I'm still working things out. I'd, I'm gonna say 70%, because uh, it, it does have this. These are metal plates, by the way. The, the, the metal plates come with it so you can attach it to things. 
Yeah, 70% because if you, it's light, you can produce it, it does do the job it was designed to do, but the detailing really takes it down a notch, okay? Uh, yeah, so 70%. That's episode one, let's move on to more tricks. Oh, subscribe, like, all that kind of stuff. Yay.